Hey, hey, YouTubers, what is up? It's the Pepper Man, coming at you from the Pepper Patch. Today, 24th of July, and we're taking a quick peek as the sun's going down at the upper deck of the Pepper Patch. So we're going to swing over here, and we're going to take a peek at these here Roma tomatoes. So there's quite a few of them here. Looking real good, but uh, none of them's turning yet. So looking pretty good. I'll peel over here to this other uh, mater plant on this side. It's a beefsteak. I'm getting some maters in there. So, not looking too bad. And we got a couple of serranos right here. Actually, there's four plants. Two in each pot. Got flowers all over. And I got fruit all over, too. There's little fruits hanging all over these things. This one, this one, this plant right here. So, these two plants are just... We'll call it one and call it a monster. So, but, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. And I got this here jalapeno right here. And uh, jalapeno's producing real nice. Haven't picked anything yet. But it's just loaded. I got two of them in here. And uh, they're both loaded down pretty good. So, and then uh, we'll swing over to this habanero. It's having an old bush not nice. Got lots of flowers, lots of buds, and uh, the fruit, it's uh, um, extra large this year. I mean, it just seems like um, they're a little bit bigger than uh, what I normally get. So I don't know if it's the weather, it's how much I've been watering everybody, because I've been, uh, I've been uh, keeping it real. Everything's looking pretty good. Uh, between the rain we've been getting, getting down here and watering every couple days or so keeping everything nice and moist um, this is scotch bonnet right here and uh, got some nice clusters under here I mean this thing just loaded scotch bonnet's looking real good this cayenne right here I got two cayennes in this pot cats like to sleep in here <laughs> that's why they're pushed apart because some cats just like to lay right down in here I got some couple pictures of funny but um cayennes Starting to change. Looking pretty good. Got a decent little cluster there. Good amount of peppers here. They need to start changing so I can start picking so they can keep on reproducing. Kung Pao over here. Um, same deal on the Kung Pao. Starting to get some change. A little bit of color change. So, and uh, you know, decent looking peppers. Up here in this corner is this Amish paste. So I got some steaks in her, and uh, she went through a storm. I had to restake her a little bit. That, that rain took its toll on it for a second, but I stood her up, staked her up, and this thing's uh, it's a trooper, keeping on, keeping on. Over here, I got these red chilies. They're the Grande red chilies, and uh, I mean, these suckers are looking good. So I wish they'd start turning <clears throat> so I can get to picking, so I can start seeing second third pickings on these things so uh other than that we get down to the super hots which uh basically i got ghost pepper and a ghost pepper we're going to look at those two first i'm going to sweep up underneath this one just going to kind of take a peek at one one side i got them turned where they i got a pretty good looking side facing the end they'll get some good good shots of some of these peppers they look real wicked got lots of flowers i mean there's um Lots of buds. This thing's gonna produce a lot of peppers. And they're wicked looking. And this one right here. And these things are, they're wicked. This is a ghost pepper, but I'm, I'm doubting it's really a ghost pepper. We'll swing over to this one. You can see on most of the peppers on this one, they look like that, which looks more like a ghost pepper. These look more like ghost peppers. But then there'll, there'll be one here or there that you know <clears throat> like this that looks more like a reaper or a scorpion so i don't really know i mean i'm kind of hoping it's a ghost pepper but it might be a little hotter than that and over here we got the trinidad scorpion we got the carolina reaper and we got the naga viper so let's take a quick peek at this naga viper first we're going to sweep up underneath the three of them see what we got without trying to break anything off behind me um, wicked looking little sucker. Um, decent amount of peppers under here. 
not too bad. Real nice looking ones. Pretty wicked. We'll swing over here to the uh, Carolina Reaper. The Carolina Reaper. It's, uh, that one's gnarly right there. And, uh, and, uh, kind of wicked. Down here. I mean, these are some wicked looking peppers. Um, just handle them taking these videos. I rub my eye. I know I've handled peppers. This one here is the uh, Trinidad Scorpion. Same kind of deal. Wicked looking peppers that got little tails on them and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Good looking peppers. So other than that, we can swing around here. Up underneath these here peppers, I'll make my way. Let's focus in. <clears throat> Excuse me, down in the lower deck. So over here in the lower deck, we got these maters over here that are kicking pretty good. We got that one over there I got tucked through the fence. That's kind of want to, they want to um, shadow out my couple pepper plants over there. We're going to make all that go away. We're going to trim all this up this weekend. But uh, tomatoes along the fence looking real good. Everything's tied up pretty nice. And uh, looking pretty good. And I got these over here. This side <clears throat> doesn't get as much sun, so it doesn't grow as vigorously as the other side. But that's fine. Um, but everything else is looking pretty good. So I got lots of peppers. Everything's got peppers on it pretty much, you know. So now we're just waiting for everything to start maturing. So there's that weird tomato right there that sprouted up on its own, growing between them four to those four pepper plants. So I'm just gonna keep her staked and I'm gonna run it up high and uh, you know, see what I can get. There is some tomatoes down at the bottom, so I'm uh, definitely gonna get something out of it. So anyways, that's about where we're at today. It's uh, 24th of July, it's the pepper man. We're down here in the pepper patch and everything's looking good, looking good. Pepper man, out. <laughs>